complete your request. So in this lesson, I want to say you how to prepare the IDE to write code and uh, try to install dependency for our project and we will create a new Java project. Okay. So first thing first, you need to download an IDE. So Intel is a good, uh, is a good IDE for us. Okay. So Intel here. So you come to chatfriend.com. You can do Eclipse as well, but uh, IntelliJ is a good idea for us. So you go here and then you go to uh, the download. Let me try to close this one. Download here. And then you select the community version. Okay, you just download the community version. And basically it will uh, try to match it with your current operating system, but in the case if it doesn't make or something like that, you try to go to the correct here. So we go to Windows if you are on the Windows machine or the Mac OS as well, and then you try to download the community version. It's free, okay? And now you just download it and then install it like a normal application, right? After that, you will launch, try to open the IntelliJ, okay? So now, you go to file new project here, right? I already have that, but I just want to do it for free beginning for you and then you can see. So you select here the Java, okay? So in case the project educates now, for example, for example uh, it doesn't display your current Java, you need to select on drop down and select the current Java on your machine. And then you just click on the next here, click on next again. So here, you can change, you can see, you can change the project location. For me, I put it at the home user source cost and then the, the rest one will be the current project name. So in this case, if you change something like ABC, it will automatically change. So that means our project will be located under here. You can put it at the or you can custom it, okay? And then finally, you just hit on the finish, that's all, right? So now let me try to cancel because I already have it here, right? So the next step that you need to install dependency. So I, uh, we will try to install dependency manually first by download the char files because in the session related to the Maven, we will try to do Maven to many dependency later. But at the beginning time, I don't want to boost a lot of stuff like that. So we will try to install manually first. Okay. So let's see what is the uh, dependency that we need to install. So we need to install the Appium Java client. Hopefully that you still remember from the Appium architecture lesson. So that means we need to have Appium Java client. We need to have Selenium Java binding package. And we need to have Google Google package because Selenium is using it as dependency. So that's why we need to have it. And the final one, we need Apache command uh, lens package because Appium Java client is using it. So we need uh, those dependency. Okay. So now you go to use just something like Maven uh, repository. Okay. You hit enter here. So you will see maven repository docs come here. So you come here, you search first thing is Appium uh, Java client, you hit enter. So here you see IO docs uh, Appium and this is the Java client. And we can do the latest one here. So here you click on the Java to download, okay? So just click on the Java to download and then after that it will download for you here, let me see, not this one, this one, okay? And you will search for uh, another one that is Selenium Java Client Enter. So, ah, uh, no, we don't, lo we don't download Java uh, Selenium from here. You go to Selenium uh, dot, art, uh, dot dev, Enter, this one. So you scroll down and then you can see uh, where the download here, here the download here, and then you scroll down. You see the Selenium client and language bindings here. You click on download for the Java, okay? And then after that, 
this field download to a zip file as I remember this one and then you try to extract and this is the attracted folder okay and the next one you need to search for Google Google Vara from Maven repository here you search Google Google Vara enter so this is the dependency and then you click on the latest in this case is 30.1.1 and then you click on the bundle to download it okay here so after you download this is the one okay and the final one is commands language from Apache uh Apache Apache uh you can search something like command lens and this is the one commands land three here this is the one okay so you can click on the latest one here and then you download the chart file okay so it's view the this one okay this is the chart file now we need to import all of the download dependency into our project right so you go back to the IntelliJ here you click here on the project and then you go to the file you see the project structure here you click on it and you click on module here okay so you select your project you click on dependency i already have it but i will do it again for you let me try to remove all of this let me try to remove all of this uh, and then i delete here uh, delete this one delete this one as well now i will click here you see the button here char or directory here so we will try to import for our download here and the first one will be appium client first open do the same thing for selenium but selenium will be a little different uh, so you go to the download folder go to the attracted here now you select this one and this one you click on open you do again for selenium but for different jar files go to download here go to attracted folder and you see expand the lips folder here and then you select all of the dependency inside okay you click on open we already have the google bar here uh so i don't think we need to import the google bar again uh okay the jar file and then go to the download here so we will import the command line three here you see from apg open and then, for example, let me try to import the latest Google bar, Google Google bar to see what happened. So I want to import the latest Google bar here. Open. Oh, so they keep uh, two of them. Um, I think I think that's okay, but let me try to delete this one because we already have this one CP with the selenium. So I don't think we need this one. You click on the OK here. Okay. So that means install the IDE, uh, IntelliJ IDE, try to create a new Java project, try to download all the dependency, and then try to import it to the more to dependency. Let me show you again the location. Okay project structure here you click on file here you go to model select your project name and then you just hit the s button here to add all the dependency okay and then you click on okay so that means everything is on set and in the next question we will try to run a very uh first script uh to see how we interact with the element on the application okay so bye for now and see you in the next lecture